Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. So I'm going to work right now. We were off yesterday. I'm off to a late start. What is new? But I have a meeting at 8 a.m. and I need to let's I need to go. I need to set up my schedule. I need to print some things out for my anchor chart that I'm gonna be doing today. And I will catch you guys after school. And then after school, I have a PD that I'm attending. So I have to double check what time that starts. But I gotta get going. I'll catch you guys maybe even at lunch. But today's a half day, so today's gonna be a little crazy. So I'll catch you later. <laughs> I have 10 minutes until my meeting. Do you guys wanna see how much of a rush I'm in? I forgot to take the tag off my pants. Fun fact that happened to me on the first day of my first year of teaching. Okay, see you after school. All right, let me just show you what real quick what I'm printing. So I have finding the theme. I'll discuss this later. But when you purchase this in my TPT store, this is how it comes out. And then I like to just cut these out and have them ready to be glued on or taped on to the um, anchor chart. You guys, so happy Wednesday. Yesterday, I was right. It was just so crazy that I didn't have time to pick up the camera again, but I'm just gonna show you after school today what we did yesterday. Um, we had a meeting just about like the future of our school and our school is converting to an all DLI school. So English only teachers like myself will be phased out over the span of four years. But since I'm fifth grade, I'm not gonna be affected or there'll be a very like slim chance I'll be affected. That's kind of how our meeting went yesterday. And then I had my PD and I really liked it. It was about um, CERs and writing science. It was really good, but I need to go to work. I need to get to school. Running a tad bit late, but what's new? All right, I'll catch you guys after school today because that's the only time I'll have. <laughs> Bye. Hi, you guys. Happy Wednesday. It was a good day, but it got rough towards the end. I had a fight in the classroom. Besides that, it was good. Just absolutely crazy. So let me show you what we did today. I have an induction meeting at, I think, 4.30, which is a nice time because I'm trying to get sub plans done for next week when I'm out. So that's what I'm working on. Okay, wow, I just got like super tired. All right, so um, for finding theme, let me show you what we did. This is my anchor chart for finding theme. It is in my TPT store, and this is just how I constructed it. So we talked about all the different themes that a story could have, and we talked about how it could be stated or implied, and then I showed a little exit ticket. So I used a free TPT resource, I'll link it down below, task card that was for free, and we read through it as a class, three times, three different examples, and found text evidence to support the theme. And then for their exit ticket, I have these little um, cupcakes, and it says um, the theme is blank because, and we filled those out, and then we taped them to the anchor chart because I love like making it interactive, and then I'm gonna hang it over there. That's what we did yesterday. And then today, we worked with this graphic organizer and really concentrated on using text examples to explain um, answer these questions. So we did all these questions together while reading a poem out of our Wonders book. And the poem, if you have Wonders, is called Stage Fright. And it was like the perfect example for finding the theme. We um, talked about all these questions and then as their assessment, they're gonna use all of this that we did and tell me what the theme is and why, using text evidence, of course. All right, then we did extra math and quizzes. We did a quizzes on theme, went to music, dividing decimals lesson by whole numbers. This is what I do for um, the you do for math. I do a clean I do, we do some we do's together, and then students, I shine this on the board and they know to circle these problems, and um, that's this is what they're doing on their own for a grade. So I'm only grading one, two, three, four, six problems, and I only take five points from it. They have one like oopsie or mess up. Then we did an IAB lesson to practice some tools. We worked on our book reports, and we started to do our writing final, and then uh, we did a PE mile. Right now, I'm just gonna work on sub plans. I'm making packets for my subs, for next week, it's the same sub for both days. I'm going to an AVID training. I personally love AVID and I wanna be trained like 
a lot so i'm going to an avid training on the 30th and 31st so i'm getting the packets ready now and clean up and then go to my meeting and then go home so i will catch you guys tomorrow i'll show you my sub packets when i'm done with them it probably won't be till next week but i will see you guys tomorrow and oh my gosh i got really tired all of a sudden okay i'll see you guys tomorrow bye morning you guys it is thursday it is recess and i'm just gonna show you it's january 23rd i'm gonna try to show that in vlogs now because it just like is easier to know what the date is i just had a meeting about iReady if you use iReady in your district then like i'm sure you've had a lot of trainings on it so that's where i was for the morning the sub said my class did really good so now i'm ready to jump into instruction for today um, I will catch you guys after school. I just wanted to say hello. It's gonna be a good day today. Hello, you guys. It's after school and I'm about to head out. I just had an induction meeting and now I'm ready to leave. Tomorrow's Friday. And of course this week went by fast. It was a, you know, we were gone Monday. So super nice. It was a very nice day. I have a headache because I haven't really drank any water. That's my fault. Let me show you what we did. And I mean, we didn't do a lot, a lot. We didn't do too much today just because um, they're working on their writing finals. Wow, words are very hard right now. One thing I've learned about teaching is you are so like tired that you can barely talk correctly. Yeah, it's real. So let me show you what we did. So they worked on sub work or there was a sub during this time and they did iReady. We did theme practice. And for theme practice, we went through these questions again. This is just the graphic organizer I have on my TPT store. How many times am I gonna say that? Anyways, we went through this. I assessed them on this section. I wanted to see if they knew the theme after asking all these questions. And we really focused on using text, text examples, which was a great practice. My class is pretty good at that, I will say. I'm very proud of them for that. And I just used a story out of um, the small book of wonders. I would have used a different story, I think, next time, but it worked. Then we did some dividing of decimals, worked on our book reports, went on our nature walk, what, uh, did our writing final and then we watched half of my friend martin and then we went out for pe but i like don't know what happened to that i don't know if i showed you this beautiful masterpiece but here it is again it's beautiful and i love it and it's hung up so nicely and i want to remake this one i want to remake um phrases to cite and hang them up here That'll be my goal for next year. All right, you guys, I will catch you on Friday tomorrow. I am so excited for Friday tomorrow. Fridays are just the best days. Raise your hand if you love Friday. Yeah, I love Fridays. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It's Friday, I sound so obnoxious, like, but I'm in a good mood because it's Friday. Fridays are seriously the best days, the best. I got my coffee. Like this coffee is a cheat for me. It is a iced coffee with heavy cream. They kind of put a lot of heavy cream in though. And a light caramel drizzle. Mm, so good. So this is definitely going to get me through my Friday. I'm just getting the morning message up. I am gonna fix my schedule. I will catch up with you guys maybe at lunch, maybe at um, after school, more than likely after school. Just during lunchtime today, I wanna make a lot of copies for the sub next week because the way my schedule looks, I will not have time after school next week. I have PDs up the yang next week. I will catch you guys after school. I need to stop lollygaggling. I always say the word lollygag in my class and now my students are saying lollygag. Hilarious. All right, so here is the morning message that we did today. It's all about emotional self-care and we had a good discussion and I just really resonated this to myself and the students wrote about it and compared it to themselves and how they could use it. Hi you guys, it's the end of the school day and I made it and it was a very good day. I am trying to figure out how to do my reward system in class. So typically what I've done is if students are done with everything, they get to participate in STEAM. But what 
happened today is the kids were bored, but at the same time, like that's not really my problem. I give them a list of websites to go on on the computer. They can draw, but I'm just trying to figure that out better. Um, I spent my entire lunch making copies and then I, you know, did my behavior reports during, you know, unfinished work time and I'm pretty caught up. I'm just gonna clean off my desk, try to get things in order that I need to bring. I just need to bring my wonders curriculum because I have to plan for next week, but it should be very simple to plan next week. Um, and then I have to think of an opinion writing to do. That's gonna be very fun. One of our last opinion writings I would say is coming up. I think I'm gonna do four opinion writings and then we're gonna do um, four, three to four expository writings. And then it'll probably be time for state testing. And I want them to memorize the fold, um, the foldable up there, that's what I call it, my writing wall, I want them to memorize that. So today was a very simple day. We did our test. Um, this was just straight from Wonders. They read some um, you know, passages, answer some questions, extra math, math I ready, division of decimals, um, book reports, writing final, STEAM, and PE. And again, I'm just getting all my grading stuff together, looking at all the copies I need to make Monday, the homework I need to make, and I pretty much have all my sub plans done for next week. Um, I am not the type of teacher that spends a lot of time on sub plans. Sorry, I'm just like, that's just not worth my time because I subbed for two years. I was just fine with give this kid, give these kids a packet, you know, follow this um, outline of what we do, and I lived. I lived just fine. The only time I wasn't fine was when there was no sub notes, but I'm giving the kids plenty to do and hopefully they're, you know, they know the rules enough to make me proud. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will catch you guys in my next video. My next video will be next week. It'll be a shorter week. It'll just be Monday through Wednesday because of my PD on Thursday, Friday. There's literally no points even film on those days. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to. And I will catch you guys in my next vlog next week. Have a really good weekend and rest up. Take it easy. Bye.